I've lost many friends during the crisis we, we face. There are some places where you don't go at night. They took away family members, they delayed my education. I used to have a farm, now I cannot go to my farm, I have, I have a shortage of food. So the People's Peacemaking Perspectives Project, or otherwise known as PPP for short, was a joint initiative. It was implemented by Conciliation Resources and Safer World, two UK-based NGOs, and with a range of local actors. And it took place over 18 months and was financed by the European Union under the Instrument for Stability. 18 studies were conducted, and these took place across the continents, really. Central Africa, West Africa, the Caucasus, Western Balkans, the Middle East, and Asia and it built up a very interesting picture of people's perspectives on conflict in these different locations. A lot of policy makers and decision makers um, in the EU but elsewhere as well um, don't have the kind of access and understanding of a particular conflict and of the dynamics of that conflict um, that stem from the experience of really living with it and experiencing it day by day. So PPP is about gathering, articulating that, and then bringing it to decision makers in the EU and elsewhere so that they can use it. We consulted people from the community who came to workshops. We uh, consulted civil society organisations, with whom, some of whom we were working with. We consulted government officials and also community leaders, such as uh, chiefs, who came from their communities to some of the meetings. We used a combination of um, survey tools to uh, get the information and this included focus group discussions and in-depth in interviews. Participation is a core value for Safer World and Conciliation Resources and it informs our work, be it policy, programming, advocacy and it's very important that local voices are heard in, in formulating responses to conflict and instability. It's really important that your understanding of the context and therefore the design of your program is grounded in a really rigorous and robust understanding of what actually makes people feel scared, what actually makes people feel insecure um, and what opportunities do they have to, to build peace uh, in their environment. There were some that were very eager, especially those outside of major cities. Uh, that felt that their perspectives weren't often heard by the European Union and by the international community more generally, and they were very eager to make their voices heard. Two of the main challenges that we faced were getting enough uh, female participants, uh, mainly because of the cultural context and the sen sensitivities involving uh, female participation. And the second uh, was uh, getting people to express their opinions and perceptions in an open and transparent manner. Quite often, um, people like ourselves will gather information by talking to local people, but then we'll conduct the analysis ourselves. And I think for us, this has been a learning curve in the, the types of investment you need to make and the resourcing you need to give a program to genuinely invest in participatory analysis as well as participatory information gathering. An integral part of the project is really connecting um, those local perspectives with policymakers, but in a sustainable fashion. So not, it, it's not a one-off event where you've encapsulated these responses and views, but you can actually set up channels of communication and relationships that, that can last. We learn about uh, position, about uh, opinion of local people, and uh, this information is important to build policy, strategy, how to solve problems of our society. It's so nice when people know both sides. They are enemies, they are friends, they are together in one place. So, of course, it's for the future, just uh, to provide people opportunities, maybe choices. There's a fair bit of work to be done to raise the awareness and the understanding among donors um, and other external actors of the value 
of listening to local people before uh, designing your engagements in those contexts. I think for some it's made them realise that they're not just victims of conflict but that they have some power over their situation and they can influence change. Talking on behalf of the people who are suffering on the ground and in the community, in the different countries, it is recognized and we hope it is going to be a very strong tool. The feedback which we're getting on the research and the findings and reports uh, from policymakers either in Brussels or in country indicates that this research is really filling a gap in their understanding about the conflict. We use it as a background for our own analysis and uh, we, are very, uh, we appreciate the work PPP has done on this case. Uh, you have put views from both sides, you have put also some recommendations. We use it for our own uh, internal intelligence and analysis. As part of, of the PPP project, I had many chances to share my uh, opinion. Uh, the space has been provided for me to be able to speak on behalf of the community that I engage with to work and the, com the, the space for the community to voice what is affecting them. We have talked to them, they have enough time to listen to us and to ask questions for clarifications and we have been able to clarify certain issues to them because we are coming from the ground. This project has given us a chance to have our say. Only those who live with conflict have the insights that can lead to lasting change.